start by greeting everyone present here today. Mr. Somi, our principal. I'm glad to see you. Mr. Damini, deputy, colleagues, learners, our social partners, Caroline, and people from the NGO. Most importantly, Mr. we give you a special greeting. I have been asked to say a few words to Eddie on behalf of the teachers. It is a fact that schools do not operate in isolation. When a school functions, there's people, there's communities that work with the school. It was for that reason that Caroline brought you to our school and to this environment. And for that, Caroline, we are grateful. To Eddie, when you were introduced to us, we, you were just another student teacher or visitor coming to our school. It was your willingness to help to set, that set you apart from any other visitors that we have had in the school. You provided support that we needed when you established a homework club where you sat with the children after school to help them do their homework. We noticed how sensitive and caring you were towards the children when you went as far as assisting with the social, social development to come to school and, and handle isolated social incidents of our learners. Working with children is a challenge. They are also very naughty sometimes and curious as well. I would never forget what I saw on your face, the stress, the anxiety, when you went to, take, to, to help Elena who was about to drown in the river next to the school. And the relief on your face once you had taken the child out of the river. Your fatherly instincts just took over. You forgot about who you were. You just jumped into the water. And for that, we thank you. Both you and Nazra took risks. You took our grade sixes and sevens to the city library for them to surf and to learn how to surf in the internet in town. It was Mr. Kuzwayo's project that had that children were instructed to find information from the internet. And, it, and more, mostly it was grade six and seven, and they learned to serve the internet to find information. It was through your encouragement that they did that. By the way, we have a functioning computer center with a resident full-time librarian and a computer teacher. So that project was not thrown away, it's still carrying on. Mrs. Stone is also teaching adults from the community computer literacy. So during the day it's used by students, after school it's used by adults. They've just written their external exam, the first one, on computer literacy. Our boys are doing well in soccer tournaments under the leadership of Mr. Momano, which you remember very well how involved you were in helping those boys. You have passion for working with children. Otherwise, you would not have taken such a large group of learners to the city and buy them ice cream afterwards, which was a treat for them. Finally, with all the leadership qualities you have for working with children, your ability to interact with different people without being judgmental, the gentle nature of your personality, you will be an asset to any organization or institution that works towards building productive, kind and normally sound citizens like our children that we are trying to do here. You are not just one of the interns, 
find the word student teacher for us. Anybody who comes to school is a student teacher. You had a positive impact on learners as well as on educators. It's not every day that children remember with smiles on their faces and they yeah when your name was mentioned and the fact that you were coming to visit us. They were indeed happy. The expression on their faces was priceless. Fortunately for you, you've seen a bit of that today. Thank you for all your help efforts in helping the school. Carry on fundraising for us. We do need more computers, a larger computer center, nutritious meals for some of our learners, etc. The most important lesson I learned or I took from you was to dish out more hugs to my children so that I receive more. Thank you.